We're BHS TV, and our mission this year is to produce the news and have a great time. This is Mr. Good's room, home of the working staff who edit videos, make projects, and keep the school up to date. Hello Brownsburg High School, thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Monday, August 9th. I'm Annabelle Freeman. And I'm Christian Roach, and here's what's going on at BHS. Are you looking for a way to get involved in the school and community? Come to the Key Club call-out meeting on Tuesday, August 17th at 7.15 a.m. The meeting will be held in the LGI near the cafeteria, and they will discuss how to help our community and perform acts of service. Key Club is a great college resume builder and is always looking for new members. Visit them on Instagram at Brownsburg Key Club. Environmental Club will have their call-out meeting on Thursday, August 19th at 3 p.m. in room B2428. They have an exciting year planned and hope to see you there. BHS Speech and Debate Team will have their first call-out meeting of the year this Thursday, August 12th, after school in Mr. Padgett's room, B1312. Speech and Debate is a combination of public speaking, acting, and arguing all in one competitive sport. Students have the ability to compete against other high schools in public address, interpretation, and various styles of debate on current events. Speech and debate teaches you lifelong skills to translate into a future and a myriad of professions. Join current members to hear how speech and debate can prepare you for the future. BASE, a before and after school program run in Brownsburg Elementary Schools, is now hiring. They are looking for energetic team members who have a genuine passion for youth development. Strong applicants have the ability to communicate effectively, be reliable, organized, and independent. They are currently in need of morning staff who have study hall first period and can work from 6.30 to 8 a.m. If you're interested, please go to brownsburgparks.com for more information and to apply. Do you want more information about events happening at the school? Follow any of these social media accounts to get updates on events like Rally Week and Homecoming, or get information about clubs and sporting events. Do you or someone you love identify as part of the LGBTQ community? Are you interested in learning more about issues related to sexual orientation, gender identity, and expression? Then the Gender Sexuality Alliance Club is for you. The GSA is a student-run club that provides a safe place for LGBTQ plus students and allies to meet, support each other, and work to create a more accepting educational environment for all students. If you are interested in joining the Brownsburg GSA, there will be a call-out meeting in Ms. Moreland Ford's room, A2404, tomorrow, Tuesday, August 10th, after school until 4 p.m. The History Club will have their first call-out meeting this Thursday, August 12th at 7.10 a.m. The meeting will take place in Ms. Crone's room, A2306. Anyone interested in joining the club this year should plan to attend. See Ms. Crone if you have any questions. The Fishing Club will begin having call-out meetings tomorrow, Tuesday, August 10th, after school in room C2206. Please see Coach Cadillac with any questions. BCSC TV and the Extended Play Club will have a call-out meeting tomorrow, Tuesday, August 10th, after school in Mr. Good's room, C1406. If you're interested in joining our award-winning broadcast crew, learning about live event production, making some new friends, and having fun while helping to promote BCSC events, then this club is for you. It's free to join, has a flexible meeting schedule, and no experience is necessary. The meeting will last until 3.30. If you have any questions or are unable to attend, please stop by Mr. Good's room or send him a message on Schoology. Chess Club, it's that time of the year again. Chess Club will be held every Friday after school in Mr. Dahlstrom's room, B2311. If you're looking for a place to hang out with friends or just want to blow off some steam, join them. Chess Club is non-competitive, they play just to have fun, and they happily welcome all people no matter your experience. They will also specialize in teaching new players. Be sure to check it out, mate. The BHS Aquatic Center is looking to hire lifeguards to work before school, during study halls, and after school. If you're already certified or are interested in getting certified, see Coach Wagner in the PE track office to apply. The Leaders of Tomorrow will have their first meeting this Thursday, August 12th, after school until 345 in the LGI room right next to the cafeteria. If you are interested in being a part of Brownsburg's Black Student Union and being an ally for our Black Student Union, please join them to learn more about what they will be doing this year. Everyone is welcome as they continue in their mission to empower students of color, increase appreciation and awareness of our diverse cultures, and make our school more equitable for everyone. If you have any questions, you can see President Adesheke Alafantui or teacher advisors Mrs. L, Mr. Evans, Mr. A, or Ms. McDillon. Spanish Club's call-out meeting has been moved from today to this Thursday, August 12th, after school. The meeting will be held in Senor Sloan's room, B1409, until 3.45. Drama Club will hold its first meeting of the year today from 3 to 4 p.m. in the auditorium. Whether you're interested in being on stage or backstage, they would love to have you join. They will also be announcing details for this year's fall musical, Guys and Dolls. 
If you are interested in auditioning to be on stage or helping out with a variety of tech roles backstage, more information will be provided about both on Monday. If you have any questions, feel free to see Ms. Myers in B1210 or Ryan Keller in the auditorium. With this being their last school year, Josiah Bohr caught up with this year's seniors. The seniors have finally made it. Senior year. And I wanted to see exactly how they're feeling going into it. My senior year, I'm most excited for the, the growth that I have in taking the next step. Um, I'm most excited for like the spirit days and um, like making a bunch of new friends because I know there's a lot of new people here and also graduating. And getting out of school. Uh, no, 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 senior, senior um, prom is going to be cool and like homecoming and just having a normal year again, that'll be fun, football games, that'll all be cool. I'm most excited for homecoming and prom and to be able to go to the football games. Um, one goal I have going into senior year is to like study with friends and like really just take it easy. What I found to be true so far about senior year is that the responsibilities do hit harder, but, but the challenge, that becomes more exciting. Senioritis is definitely impacting me more than seniority. I, I'm just tired all the time now and I'm kind of over it. What's impacting me more this year is having senioritis because I always had that leadership quality that I present which is like seniority. Having seniority because I like being a leader and I like people being able to look up to us and having to be a good example for others. To all of the seniors including myself, I'd like to say good luck and have a great rest of your senior year. Josiah Bohr, BHS TV. Thank you, Josiah. Now it's time for sports. Hey, Arabella, what do you have for us today? Hey, guys, we're getting closer to the start of all of our fall sports at BHS. The girls' golf team is already underway, though, and continued their season on Saturday at the State Preview Tournament at Prairie View. The dogs finished in 12th place and were led by Haley Hansen, who shot an 88. Maddie Campbell also had a solid performance, finishing with a 93. The varsity will be back in action this Thursday when they travel to Zionsville. The girls' second team placed second at the Southmont Invitational. Grace Monahan led the pack with an 88. Brenna Fruits shot a 90, followed by Anna Sinclair and Bria Walters with 92s. Phoebe Brothers shot a 95. The girls battled the fast greens, the heat, and the bugs. Nice job. The unified flag football team will have their first practice tomorrow after school. Practice will be from 3 to 4 o'clock on the track infield. You must have a physical and information in privet to participate. Please contact Ms. Comer or Mr. Douglas with questions. Pre-sale tickets for the 2021 Horseshoe Classic at Lucas Oil Stadium are now available via Ticketmaster. Brownsburg will take on Ben Davis in the second game of the doubleheader. Kickoff is set for 8.30 p.m. or approximately 30 minutes after the completion of the opener between Mooresville and Lebanon. Head to brownsburgbulldogs.com for the ticket link. Pre-sale tickets are $10 with the code provided or $13 at the gate. Here's a quick look at some of our other fall sports upcoming schedules. The volleyball team will travel to Gearing Catholic for a scrimmage this Wednesday before their first tournament of the season at Crown Point this Saturday. The boys' tennis team will host Mooresville on the 16th. Both soccer teams will host Carmel in a scrimmage this Thursday, then start their seasons on the following Monday with the girls hosting Franklin Central and the boys traveling to Plainfield. Both the cross-country and unified flag football teams will get their seasons started later this month. All sport passes are now available for the 21-22 year. Head to brownsburgbulldogs.com for the purchase link. Passes are good for a digital ticket to any regular season home game at any level, varsity, JV, and freshman. They do not include admission to IHSAA conference or county tournament events. Cost is $100 for adults and $60 for students. Here's a look at some of the spirit dress days that are coming up. This Friday's theme is the Wild Wild West. That's it for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Arabella. That's all we've got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and we'll see you on Wednesday.